All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, though kind of changing pace from a lot of the mods we've looked at recently. We've been having a gander at a lot of more serious mods in the game, you know, either if it's real world parts that have been kerbalized and brought into the game, or hard science mods that of course have also been kerbalized and put into the game. So today I kind of wanted to look at a, you know, a just because it's fun sort of a mod, and thus we have the Tin Tin Moon Rocket, which is being made by forum user XX Hansen Max, spelled with two X's at the end, which, uh, what is going on with usernames? Why, why? But, oh well, it's a very fitting user to actually be building this mod, as this particular user uh, was one of the individuals involved in the interstellar endurance spaceship mod that we looked at a while back. So, uh, you know, we go from fun, cool, sci-fi movie spaceship to comic book 50s-style moon rocket, and I think that's quite fitting indeed. So let's head into the VAB to have a look at this wonderful rocket that I, I have a very, very wonderful nostalgic place in my heart for, as I love the Tintin comics. Uh, I was introduced to them way back in high school when I was first learning French as a way to help me read French better. And this particular comic that uh, this rocket is from was Objectif Loon, which uh, in the English circulation was Destination Moon, and it was one of my favorites. So the ability to have this rocket in the game now, oh, it just makes me so happy. Just so much glorious nostalgia. So let's take a look at the parts and put this baby together. Now the first part we have is the Moon Rocket Command Pod, and this thing is big. Let's grab the Mark 1-2 here to sort of do a size comparison, and you'll see it is big. It's just about as wide, but twice as tall, and this Ro Moon Rocket Command Pod holds six Kerbals, which I do think is a little bit weird. Maybe it should be a bit bigger if it's holding six Kerbals, because, I mean, this one's three, and you're fitting six in here, so that's going to be one uncomfortable ride. But, oh well, a very cool, wonderful Command Pod. Nice, large in size. Oh, and of course, we do have the Tintin flag over here. Very nice. Also does come with the mod, so uh, that's a glorious thing that's added in with this. And, uh, yeah, a cool little command pod. It does hold uh, quite a bit of electrical charge, 550 moderate propellant, and as I mentioned, six Kerbals in total to fly along to the moon. Very nice indeed. And then onto the fuel tab, we have two things in here. The first being the main moon rocket fuel tank, which is, again, massive. Let's actually zoom out a bit and chuck on the uh, Jumbo 64 fuel tank for a size comparison. And look at that. It's it's basically like one and a half Jumbo fuel tanks. Actually, maybe a little bit more than a half. Uh, but yes, it's, it's massive and carries just a bit over 4,000 liquid fuel and just under 5,000 oxidizer. So a very, very large, large fuel tank with a crap load of fuel but fun times for all. Now also in here we have the Moon Rocket RCS unit, which is uh, not just a fuel tank for RCS, but is also the RCS units themselves, as you can see from the lovely holes that we have around here. And it holds an additional 100 mono propellant from the uh, 50 that we have up in the command pod, as well as 360 liquid fuel and 402 point two oxidizer. That seems like a strange number, but okay, rolling with it. Uh, so yes, it also does have this liquid fuel and oxidizer, which is intriguing. I figured it would just have modern propellant, but oh well, this thing has a lot of fuel altogether, as you'll see momentarily. Now in the engines tab, we have nothing here at the moment, but that is one of the parts that they are wanting to implement into this. They are wanting to add in a proper engine to go along with the whole Tintin moon rocket. Uh, but for now, you just chuck on whatever engine you like. And then over to Structural is where we have the next part. Let's actually detach this. As the part is a moon rocket command pod decoupler. And, well, it looks like a poker chip and is the only decoupler for this that attaches just below the command pod and, well, it functions like any decoupler, so that's 
That's really all you can say about that. And then lastly, in aerodynamics, we have two pieces. The first being a moon rocket nose cone, which pops right up there. And I believe this is supposed to become the parachute down the road. Right now, it's just a nose cone. That's all it does. It will not save your command pod from you know, destroying, or being destroyed rather, when you come back to the planet. Uh, but eventually, eventually it will also be a parachute. And then we have the uh, moon rocket wings slash landing unit, as of course this is a 1950s style rocket. It launches, goes to the moon, lands on its wings, and then comes back as any 50s rocket should. And these things are interesting. I love the shape, they fit in very well with the shape of the wings from the comic. Problem is, it has some performance issues. Whenever I do it to three, which is what you're supposed to have for this rocket in the cartoon, or comic rather, well, it, it lags my uh, frame rate. I'm, I drop by about five to ten frames, I don't know why. And uh, yeah, so it's, for some reason there's some performance issues with them. And not only that, but also the fact that well, they, they seem to be a little off in how they get placed on here. Like, uh, if you put them on anywhere like this, they end up looking like a fan. But if you get right in this sweet spot in here, and then sort of rotate them around... Oh, I borked up that. There we go! We rotated them around sufficiently, and now they are properly looking downwards. So I, I don't know why that is the case, but that seems to be the only way to do that, unless you just go into full rotation. Though actually these are a bit off-center. Oh, that's... that's gonna spiral to my death. <laughs> oh well. And besides being wings and landing legs, these things also have fuel. Each one of them has just a little over 1300 liquid fuel and just a little over 1600 oxidizer. So altogether, this whole ship between the three wings slash landing legs, the RCS unit and the main fuel tank, this should have enough fuel to get from the launch pad to the moon and back, as it did in the Tintin comic. I, if I'm actually remembering correctly, it's been ages since I actually read this comic, but they burned uh, the engine all the way until the halfway point with the moon, then f uh, then uh, decelerated the rest of the way. So the second half, they burned towards the moon to decelerate, and it was interesting. Ah, uh, 1950s understanding of space flight. But yes, this baby can do the same and make it to the moon and back on just the fuel that it has in here. Though I have had one problem with this so far. I, I've, I've been loving this rocket. I played around with it just before starting this. And it's a cool little design. Very cool rocket. But the wings... Even though they have fuel and oxidizer, they don't seem to cross-feed into the main body. So I had to put in some uh, fuel lines onto it to make it cross-feed, because otherwise, you know, the rocket wouldn't even leave atmosphere before running out of fuel from the main tank and the uh, RCS unit here. We'd get a nice trajectory to get out into space, but we, uh, you know, stopped at about... Oh god, I don't even remember the altitude, but quite high up, not quite left the atmosphere yet, and our engines just stopped burning, even though we still had fuel in each of these three wings, and quite a lot of fuel at that. Almost as much as the fuel in here. So yeah, it's it's a little bit of an odd little bug, hopefully that does get fixed. And speaking of things for the future of this, as we meant, as, or as I mentioned rather, they are working on an engine that should fit in with this. And there's supposed to be, according to the little diagram that's on the mod post, a launch escape tower that will eventually possibly be made. So we might have something else to go on top here and then an engine to go on the bottom. Now, uh, we do have a lovely pre-built version of this that the mod creator included in the download file, which was wonderful because... Oh boy, oh boy, if you want to put this together where your Kerbals can actually get in and out, uh, yeah, you have issues. As you can see on the mod maker's build of it, he has uh, ladders going all the way down the side, and th roughly that point right there is the escape hatch. You can't see it because, well, there's no visual representation of it on the text string at the moment, but yeah, that's where they come out. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> I found that out the hard way. And as you can see down here, we do have these uh, fuel cross feeds. So I guess, I guess maybe uh, the mod maker may not fix that. It may just be a part of the mod you have to deal with. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping it does get fixed because that's kind of weird having these. And it does look like it had some struts onto it too. Intriguing. Intriguing indeed, and then of course a glorious Rocco Max mainsail for our engine today, and this baby should get to the moon and back. We're not going to do that flight because here today, as um, I'm an awful pilot, and we probably would make it to the moon and then die. So we are going to launch it though, just so you can see the rocket in action, at least in atmosphere here, and uh, get a taste for what you will have in store for yourself if you decide to go and play around with this, which I hope you do, it's just so much fun, especially if, like me, you love the Tintin comics. I just, it, they're they're absolutely glorious. And, ah, uh, this thing is just so beautiful. Look at it, it's, it's just, it's magnificent in all of its 1950s V2 rocket-inspired glory. Ha, uh, it's beautiful. So yes, let's launch this baby off, add a little SAS, and fire in three. Two, one, lift off. Oh, I forgot the throttle up. That would help. <laughs> See, there's that me being a crap pilot thing there. And why we won't make it to the moon. So yeah, one of the things I'm hoping with this mod that does get fixed is, uh, as I said, they are wanting to work on an engine. Hopefully, again, it's in the diagram that they have made for the mod. I'm hoping the engine is more powerful because this baby is heavy. I mean, between this main fuel tank, the RCS tank, and these three wings, we've got 8,000 liquid fuel and like 9,000 oxidizer. So this baby is real heavy. So I'm hoping whatever engine does get made is uh, nice and powerful because this thing is slow. Very, very slow. But, you know, well, there's the moon. Let's just start burning towards it for no apparent reason whatsoever. There we go. <laughs> Not a proper gravity turn, but oh well, that's what we're going to have to deal with today as, yeah, we're not going to make it all the way to the moon. Not with my flying, we won't. But I mean, yeah, it's, it's a fun, fun little crazy mod. I, I love the look of these old 1950s style rockets. And of course, it being inspired by, you know, Objectif Loon, my favorite Tintin comic. It's just, it's great. It, it just hits, it hits me right in the nostalgia and it's just beautiful. So I hope you do go and check this out for yourself. If you want to, of course, follow the link in the description as always. And yeah, I can't wait to see how this mod develops. Hopefully the additional parts that may get made, I'm hoping they do, you know, really fit in with it, make it look a lot better. And I'm hoping eventually there's an IVA because right now, this, if you go to one of the Kerbals, it's just black. There's nothing. They didn't even throw in, like, the, you know, uh, just random generic IVA. You're just in darkness. So, uh, hopefully, maybe an IVA gets added into the future. That would be glorious. Uh, but yes, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode today and that you do go and check out this mod. And, of course, that you come back for the next episode when we will go and take a look at what will hopefully turn out to be yet another fun mod. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. Now let's release the decoupler just for the hell of it. Oh, there we go. Wow, that was, that was somewhat anticlimactic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Later, everyone.